You Don't Know What You're Doing is a 1931 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Rudolph Ising, and this stars the short-lived character Piggy, who is, unsurprisingly, a little pig. And he's quite cute. I like the way he's animated. I like the way the whole animation is, is, is animated. There's a great attention to detail. Um, one particular moment I loved when it was when characters were blurting at each other and the spit was coming out of their mouth. It sounds disgusting, but it you know visually it worked very well. And I, I did enjoy the actual quality of the animation, but I felt like the narrative just wasn't that interesting. For me personally, there weren't that many visual gags or much going on really to make me that interested in it beyond finding the animation style quite pleasing. Piggy uh, is at a, a jazz club um, and half of the cartoon focuses on just exploring the jazz nightlife and musicians and, and the different characters within this nightclub. And then Porky decides, Piggy, I will call him Porky Pig, um, Piggy Pig decides to um, say that one of the jazz musicians is doing it wrong and basically challenges him and it's not really that interesting. The music is good. I'm not the biggest fan of jazz music but the music is consistent. Um, Piggy is a character I didn't mind but I didn't love him. He's pretty decent. He's okay. Had he appeared in other cartoons I think he was in maybe one other one. Certainly not many. Um, if he became a recurring character I think he could work but also, I can see why he wasn't that popular over time. It's not a terrible short. It is quite well animated. The pacing is very good and the music is quite decent. And the characters we meet are all relatively interesting or at least not annoying, which is a good start. But there just wasn't anything about this that I thought was funny or clever or, you know, particularly amusing. So, would I recommend you don't know what you're doing? Yes, if you like Warner Brothers cartoons and you want to see it and check it off your list as one to watch. It's not dull, I don't think you'll dislike it, but certainly it's not one that I'd say should be at the top of your to watch list. If you're not that bothered about early Warner Brothers, maybe you're not going to love it. I certainly didn't love it, but at the same time, I didn't hate it. <laughs>